We begin tonight with the growing firestorm over the forum, the commander in chief test. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton both under fire. Trump's words about American generals, Clinton's promise no ground troops ever again in Iraq. And tonight here, straight to the new polls. Take a look at the key battleground states. Clinton with a very slight lead in Pennsylvania. Trump up by one in Ohio. And in Florida tonight, they are both tied. All of the polls within the margin of error. This race is suddenly a dead heat. And both candidates facing heat. We begin with what Donald Trump said about the generals and ABC's Jonathan Carl. Campaigning in Ohio today, Donald Trump blasted Hillary Clinton's performance in that national security forum. She's got to get her act together. But Trump is now facing blowback over his statements, including his attack on America's senior military leadership. The generals have been reduced to rubble. They have been reduced to a point where it's embarrassing for our country. He even suggested he'd fire the top brass. Well, there'd probably be different generals, to be honest with you. But there are only so many generals. They come up through the ranks, serving presidents of both parties. Then there's what he said about his first classified national security briefing. And I was very, very surprised in almost every instance. And I could tell, I have pretty good with the body language, I could tell they were not happy. Our leaders did not follow what they were recommending. Candidates are expected to say nothing about what is, by definition, a confidential briefing. I think what he said was totally inappropriate and undisciplined. Trump also doubled down on the debunked claim that he opposed the Iraq war. I happened to hear Hillary Clinton say that I was not against the war in Iraq. I was totally against the war in Iraq. From a, You can look at Esquire magazine from 04. You can look at before that. But 2004 was a year after the war started. Tonight, the Clinton campaign fired off this email. Donald Trump kicked off his evening by lying about his position on the Iraq war, and no one stopped to call him on it. There is only one known definitive statement from Trump before the war, and in it, he says he's in favor. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess so, uh, you know, I wish it was, I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. At the forum, Trump was also pressed about his plan for defeating ISIS. For more than a year, he has said he has one. There is a method of defeating them quickly and effectively and having total victory. I don't want the enemy to know what I'm going to do. All I can tell you is that it is a foolproof way of winning. But recently, he said he'd ask his generals to come up with a plan. Is the plan you've been hiding this whole time asking someone else for their plan? No, but when I do come up with a plan that I like and that perhaps agrees with mine or maybe doesn't, I may love what the generals come back with. I will continue. But you have your own plan. I have a plan. If I win, I don't want to broadcast to the enemy exactly what my but plan is. And finally, Trump raised eyebrows by again praising Russian leader Vladimir Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. He's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. And Jonathan Carl with us live tonight. John Trump not only standing by his praise of Putin, but citing Putin's poll numbers in Russia. Well, you know that Donald Trump loves to talk about polls, and he said that Putin has an 82% approval rating in Russia. What he didn't mention is that Putin is essentially a dictator who maintains near total control over Russian mass media and is known to crack down on Russians who dare to challenge him, David. <laughs>